on a flawed environmental impact statement resulting in irreversible, irreversible damage to precious natural resources in Florida. By not taking the concerns of people seriously who have lived within the pipeline's corridor throughout their lives, you have given permission for these pipelines based on incomplete facts. And no one knows that better than my friend Chris standing over there. And we are seeing and experiencing the damaging consequences resulting from your failures to properly review this enormous project. Also, there has been a complete, a complete failure on the part of the regulatory agencies to effectively monitor the pipeline corridors. And results have been devastating to both the landowners within the pipelines corridor and our natural areas, natural systems, water bodies, and wildlife. This is unacceptable. Do you agree with me? Yes. <laughs> Florida people have been sending a loud and clear message long before the approval of the Southeast Market Pipeline Project that we do not want any more frac gas or frac oil transported by pipelines or by any other means to Florida. Do we agree with that? Yes. And we do not want any placed underground in our rivers, creeks, and other water bodies. Or drilling on Florida lands or in Florida waters. Fracking for gas or oil contaminates our lands and waters and creates illnesses in children and adults. This must not continue. You agree with me? Yeah. Florida people do not want to be responsible, responsible for loss of life and children with deadly illnesses and lands that people can no longer live on or waters that they can no longer drink or use. Florida people are asking for solar energy and other alternative energy. We know that this is absolutely possible and we demand this from our energy providers and state clearly in this message that we do not want any more pipelines in Florida. We want the construction of Southeast Market Pipelines Project stopped and the pipelines removed from our lands and waters and there shall be no more drilling for oil and gas in Florida. And this one's sad to me, but true. And we have some of these landowners here today to speak to us about this. They're the forgotten ones in this whole equation. You have put families in endangerment, both at home and at schools, by placing these frack gas underground pipelines nearby their homes and schools. And you have disrupted their lives, allowing these pipelines to destroy their properties and memorial cemeteries and churchyards. People directly impacted by these frack gas underground pipelines have suffered greatly. And we need to acknowledge that. We must acknowledge that. And have to live in the constant fear that not if, but when, there will be a leak or explosion on their lands or their neighbors' lands. This is unacceptable. Yes. The Southeast Market Pipeline Project, most specifically Sable Trail and Florida Southeast Connection, has decimate, decimated our rivers, springs, creeks, and other water bodies, wetlands, and wildlife. And this is this part that has always hit me during this. Wildlife living within the pipeline corridor have lost their homes and have become disoriented and homeless or dead. Not if, but when there is a leak or an explosion resulting from pipelines. 
placed underground in our rivers, creeks, and other water bodies, we will face a catastrophic, tragic event. This is unacceptable. Florida people have cons consistently filed complaints and reported violations associated with the pipeline intrusions under our lands and in our waters. These complaints and reported violations are merely brushed aside and dismissed by our regulatory agencies and neither Sable Trail or Florida Southeast Connection have received so much as a fine for their ignorance of the Florida Department of Environmental Protection Permit. This really is unacceptable. Florida people hold you responsible and accountable for allowing this project to be permitted. You have not listened to the people of Florida and you, Governor Scott, and the private pipeline companies and energy providers who brought this pipeline project forward for your own benefit and profit at the expense of people's well-being, loss of their lands, and irreversible damage to our Florida natural areas, natural systems, water, and wildlife are indeed guilty of both crimes against nature and humanity. Yeah. Your approval of this project has taken the future away from many, many families for their children and their children to enjoy the land that had been carefully stewarded and taken care of for many generations. The giant trees are gone, water bodies changed forever, precious wetlands decimated, wildlife habitat destroyed, and most of all, the sense of security taken and safety taken from them. This is not right. And you must put yourself in their lives and ask yourselves, what have I done? And we ask you today, what are you going to do about it? So, there is a... Uh, board over there and we're asking everybody to sign this letter. There's a sign, sign uh, signature sheet there that we ask you to support us in making sure that Governor Scott hears all of our voices. So, Kim, I don't know who's next. <laughs> Bobby, okay. I'd like to have Bobby C. Billy come forward now and he is going to do a prayer and during that prayer, please do not film him. After he's finished the prayer, feel comfortable to go ahead and start filming again. I thank uh, Sam for life, the Creator has gave us. And that's what indigenous people have lived in this country throughout the one year. 